welcome in, welcome back, guys. So today, your boy is making something that, uh, honestly, never made before. Never. So this is going to be fun for both of us. I mean, when you know the basics of cooking, you kind of can pull off anything. That's the great thing about knowing um, the basics. To, you know, learning those is a kind of a, a major plus when it comes to doing anything else. So um, we're going to get into it. I'm going to go over the uh, ingredients and then we're going to get into some of the things. Some of the things that I did um, that were really time consuming, I've already done for you, such as boiling the noodles. We don't need to see noodles boiled. That's something that we don't. Everybody knows how to boil a noodle. And um, de-skinning the fish is a, when I say cakewalk, they literally have it peeled for you. You literally take the skin and do like that. Those are the only two things I've done. Um, I'm going to show you how to flake the fish, which is super easy as well. But aside from that, um, not much prep. And we are going to chop up another fennel bulb. Um, I literally, when uh, they said fennel bulb in the uh, ingredients, I was looking for, you would not believe where I was looking in the, in the, in the grocery store for it, because they didn't specify fresh or dehydrated, bagged, boxed, bottled, like, you know, like this. So I didn't, I, I was looking everywhere for it. And finally, I just came into the, and they're not called, these are not always called fennel. They're called astenosis or something. And uh, I was looking for fennel and I feel pretty not bright when um, the guy goes, it's right here in front of you. I go, that's not fennel. She goes, yes, it is. <laughs> anyway, that was my adventure uh, with fennel at the grocery store. All right, so let's go over it, guys. And everything here is pretty, even the smoked um, trout, I thought was going to be a little bit difficult to find, so I took my butt up to Lenardi's and didn't even need to go there. They had it at Safeway. So um, it's pretty common. I thought it was going to be something that was going to be in the fresh, uh, uh, it's in the sushi. So, well, the grocery store needs to at least have a sushi department. So um, at least that being said, it has to be nice enough to at least have a sushi department so that it'll be in the sushi area. All right. So let's get into it. I'm going to start from back to front. All right. Of course, we have our always famous allspice Italian seasoning that has just everything in it. And it didn't call for it, but you know me, um, this just cover, er, covers every base for me. So I always, always go to it. And that's about a teaspoon of it. And it's just the thyme, oregano, um, what else is in there? Uh, bay leaves, um, your, it's your holy trinity plus about 10 more other things. So that's, that's my, the coffee, either the salad dressing um, mix, are the Italian mix. So one of the two, your choice. Basically the same things in them. They just, it's just basically a common combination of a whole bunch of spices. These are, um, what do you call these? Bow tie, uh, mini, mini bow ties are, they're called, what is the little fancy name they got for them? Falili lallies or something they called it. But yeah, these are just mini bow ties is what they are. Boop, boop. All right, and then over here we have all real mayonnaise. And you can tell real mayonnaise, I've had this out for about maybe 45 minutes now. And have you seen it break at all? Not any. All right. Then coming over here, these are fresh scallion chopped, two scallions chopped. Scallion and onion, a little bit different, a little bit of a different flavor, um, but same antioxidants, same uh, benefits. Um, coming back to the, um, the fennel bulb, the fennel is a, is almost borderlining on a super fruit just for the simple fact is now they say, um, I've read a few um, different articles saying that if you consume too much of it, that, you know, it can be uh, not great for you. And I didn't read on because it's not something that I think that I'll be consuming too much of. So um, just a little word to the wise. I don't know which article that was. I was just reading a whole bunch of them going down in a, a series of comments. And then coming over here, we have um, some light whipping cream, not heavy, that's light whipping cream. Um, all natural butter, of course the fennel, and this is the smoked trout flaked, and then I have one piece here to the side so I can show you, literally the skin comes on the back of this right here, guys, and I'm when I say that it is a cakewalk to just peel it off, it is no easier than you opening, uh, pe peeling off a tag of, you know, like your, your phone, your cell phone, when you first get your cell phone, you get that cellophane that comes up, that's how easy it is, honest to God. You're not gonna mess up 
at all. They got it so done for you. And then last but not least, we got some dill over here. This stuff is really, really, if you notice what I'm missing again is all of the herbs and spices and the garlic and the um, garlic powder, onion powder, all those things. Nope, not doing that today with that. Just ground um, salt and ground pepper. The dill is a big dill maker. So it has a very robust flavor. It's very pungent. It stands out. It lets you know that it's there. So that's why we're kind of keeping this very, very neutral. Plus, I've never made this just as I said before. So therefore, I'm not going to go off the rails and deviate from the taste because I'm looking forward to what, what I tasted before. And when and the presentation that I got was immaculate uh, in the restaurant. So I'm really looking forward to so hopefully I can kind of get that presentation going when I, when I put it all in the bowl because it came as a family style and it was in a bowl. And it was just beautiful the way it was presented. It was just beautiful, light, creamy. Uh, it, it was light, you know, and they served it um, room temperature to borderline chilled. And I love that it was, it came on a, uh, a, a bed of ice. So the bowl was on, uh, on a bed of ice. After about maybe five minutes, I took the bowl, I kind of stirred it, and then I took the bowl. I had some of the cold, I had some of the room temp. Me personally, I like it at room temp like very, very slightly chilled. And they give you that option. So what you can do is you can take the bowl off of the um, of the ice plate and then let it kind of get a little bit, you know, room temp or whatever we were, I think we're sitting outside. And then boom, you can put it back on the ice and just kind of let you be able to, to monitor how much you want it chilled or if you want it room temp. So that's that was pretty cool. And I really, really like that aspect of it. So I'm going to kind of do the same thing today so that we can have that and you can have a little bit of both. Um, that's the way this kind of dish is kind of presented. It's not just given to you. You kind of have that option of taking the bowl in and out of the, the ice bath or whatever you want to call it. All right, guys. So let's get to it. That is going to be the summary for our ingredients. And I will see you guys in a sec because we're going to get started cooking. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Right, guys, welcome in and welcome back. So now we're going to get into our prep segment. Um, not prep segment, but our cooking segment. But the first thing we got to do is we got to break down this fennel bowl. So let's get on that fennel bulb and it's super duper easy. I mean, you can't get more straightforward than that. It just, when, when they said it, I was a little like, I'm tempted, of course, never. Remember that, that rapper, um, what was his name, Bone Crusher? I ain't never scared, never scared. Y'all probably too young to remember that song. Anyway, so I'll even come over here. I got the room and space. So the only thing we're gonna do with the fennel bulb, right? Why couldn't they just say that a fennel? <laughs> just, Bottom of the funnel, but we had to make it sound all fast. Just get rid of your top. Boop. Right? Let me get rid of my towel. Get rid of your butt. Get bottom. The butt of it, that's what they call it. Okay. Boop. Right? And then I, even though I've never cut this before, I've already, like, I've, you know, as a, as a chef, we're always looking for the balance of whatever we're doing. So it would be great to cut it like this, but we don't want that cut. We want this cut. So what I figured out is, hey, if I come on the side right here, right, I'm going to be able to drop down pretty easy. See that? Pretty easy. See if you notice, guys, I've been slowly getting rid of all of my, my not good knives is what I'll call them. I'm down to my last two not good knives, and I got my last two good knives. So we're waiting. I'm trying to get rid of all the bad. Save the best for last, right? I'm waiting to get to this one. And then I have another uh, one in there that I'm actually going to take to the, uh, to the sharpening shop. In case anybody's never got a knife sharpened, it is not cheap. Just letting you know. That's why most people, unless they spent a lot of money, they find out how much it is to get a knife sharpened, truly get it sharpened, and decide to, hey... I am going to just, because it goes by literally by the centimeter, by the centimeter. Every centimeter is like, I think like 10 bucks or 20 bucks or something like that, depending on where you go. It's not by the inch now. You go get a sword, something like that, it goes by the inch. As you can see, I've had all kinds of things sharpened. All right, that, that smell of this fennel, is really, really strong and it's, it's a little bit intimidating because I've never really cooked with fennel. I've eaten it a lot, many a time, um, even in the dish. Um, but I don't know when they made their family size, when they brought it out to the table for us, I don't know what they, what, you know, their family size was, what, what their portions were. And I'm not going to ask that. 
How many exactly fennel bulbs did you put in here? And at the time of eating, and I wasn't even aware of this, I went home and, and did the research and found out about this dish afterwards. But when I seen it on the on the menu, I was like, no, this has to get tried. Like what? I've never heard of nothing like this. Smoked trout, what? I've done, when I first graduated, my big dish was um, steamed open mouth stuffed trout. I would get a steamer and I would stuff the trout with vegetables and then season it as it was in the steamer, open season. Yeah, it was a whole thing. Um, all right, now we got that done. Now I wanna jump and I wanna show you guys really quickly before we get into uh, anything else when we start to add the fish. Remember I was referring to how easy it was to um, pull the skin off, cause you're not skinning, you're not doing any work. I wouldn't say skinning the fish cause you're not doing any work. So this is how it comes just like this. And when I say that they have it prepped for you, I am not exaggerating. Look at how they have that lip right there already for you. There's no way that you can go wrong doing this. You see what I'm saying? I'm not gonna eat this one yet, just yet. I'm gonna probably save this for a salad or something. But what I wanted to just demo and show you guys is how easy they have that skin prepped and sliced already for you, prepped for it to come right on off. So it's a cakewalk when you buy it. I mean, when I say one, two, three, not even one, two, one, one, step one, done, all right? So just want to share that really quick tidbit with you guys really quick. All right, now, this is our fish here. Flaking, this is our fish, this is our fish. Flaking this fish, they show two different techniques. Yeah, you don't need any of them. You don't need any of those techniques, don't do them. It's more work than it's worth. You don't need an extra tool. Don't dirty up an extra dish. Hands and fingers, flake the fish off. That's simple as that. Can you get simpler than that? Flake the fish off. That's it. Simple as that. I don't know about you guys, but growing up, you know, mom was an island woman and dad is Native American. So I had, you guys probably had crab um, cakes. I had mackerel cakes coming up. And if you compare a mackerel cake to a crab cake, I know crab is crab, oh crab. Mackerel, it has way, way more flavor. So I grew up eating mackerel cakes. My dad made mackerel cakes. And a lot of people had smoked salmon. The reason why I was so attracted to this is I grew up eating smoked trout. So, and another fish that you guys probably have never ever heard of, have you guys ever heard of a buffalo fish? Let me know if you have, this is real. I, I grew up eating a lot of buffalo fish. <clears throat> All right, let's get into some cooking. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this to um, two different pans, and I was debating on which pan I should use. Should I use my stone pan, or should I use? And and I'm really still right on the fence right now as I'm gonna pull this out because if it's not big enough, I might have to go back to one of my stainless steel uh, larger pans. Uh, this has a large enough lip on it. I'm concerned about the lip because whether I want to do the cream and everything at the point um, is going to be a big determining factor. So. Hmm, seriously, I don't know if I feel too comfortable about that. Ha ha, let's see. Let's use a saucepan. I, I think it'll be a little bit safer with a stainless saucepan. Yeah, I feel better like that. Don't you? I feel better, right? Yeah. If you've ever been to my house, I am over the top, over the moon, ain't know about you using the right pan for the right job. So yeah, I feel much better about my stainless steel on this bad boy. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the butter in and we're gonna get the, um, the fennel going and then we're gonna slowly start to add in everybody else. And what was crazy is this dish called for no garlic. And now I know why, because it has cream in it. Those two do not, they're not, they're not friends. All right, so of course, I am never gonna follow all the way the recipe. Even my uh, people said, Milan, you're actually following the recipe today. You're not even doing it. I am, I'm still gonna add olive oil to this stuff. I honestly would love to see this dish with uh, clams. 
possibly no not muscles muscles are too big and then they, in order to like get the muscle the way you want to you would have to cut the muscle and that's a pain in the butt so no muscles clams would be good clams i would really like to see this dish with clams if i do this good i will start to tweak it and, and do this dish with clams i would i mean it just makes sense even right now putting it together doesn't it make sense to have clams in this I went to my store, oh, Sam's, good old Sam's Club, shout out to Sam's Club, <laughs> um, and got my uh, combination. Everything's in bulk though, so know that. Went and got my combination olive oil and avocado oil, and now they have grape oil. So I was able to get all three. Fennel goes in, from my understanding, we want to cook this down quite significantly. And I'm glad to do that. Me personally, I would like to do everything separately. Uh, let's get our salt and pepper in here. I'm gonna be making a trip up to uh, Monterey just to go get more herbs and spices. I have a you know, support your small business. Not only do they, I love supporting small business, they just honestly have a superior product, like they legitimately do. This is some of their stuff right here. And their product is seriously superior. A little, not mom and pop, a little bit bigger than that. They have their own, um, I think they process with their own stuff. So they go source it raw, everything raw. And then what small processing they do and packaging they do, they do all in-house, like in the back of their store. It's it's pretty cool. A little bit off the beaten path, not too much. Probably maybe, what, maybe six miles from downtown. But it is absolutely worth the trip. And then I think, I couldn't find it for a while, the, the, uh, the herbal um, store up there is like on another level. Just because they have the space, unlike the city and in places in the Bay Area, we just don't have the space to spread out like they do. So they get, you get a whole different quality uh, shopping experience, I should say. Just because they got more space and they just spread out and they can do more and they can present their product a little bit different where they don't have, we don't have the restrictions of space here and almost everybody has a um a seating area or some kind of garden going on which makes it all the better so they got all the scents and everything going it's not overwhelming you by being inside so now we just went scallions and the fennel bulb and it smells so darn darn good two dishes that i've never really put together before two little items i've never put here before I'm having fun right now, guys, in case you didn't notice. I'm legitimate. This is me having fun. This is your boy having fun because I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil. Now I am going to go, let's go seasoning now. I feel like I got a nice rhythm going here. I'm just going to do pinches because I don't want to change anything. I didn't add any of my traditional salt and pepper. I'm going to always, just, just, just always that. Because I love my food. Everything I eat, I want it to taste, unless of course it's something hearty, super hearty. Then I want it to taste kind of gamey. But other than that, I love my earthy um, notes. I like some things that have, you know, warmer um, notes. But for the most part, almost everything I want to eat, especially in the summertime. Like, what did I have last night for dinner? Awesome dinner last night I had. Clam chowder, crab cakes, sushi, and a, um, what kind of salad was that? It was like a, not it wasn't, but it was like a um, Asian uh, Chinese salad, but it wasn't, it wasn't, it had no chicken or anything in it. And then I added like a little sprig of the, uh, the, the cocktail, tiny little cocktail shrimp. Man, it was, uh, took me all of five minutes to make it. Maybe. 
that fresh fresh crumb chowder out of the uh, out of the thing that they make for you, and then some whole foods, and then jazz up things. That's what I call takeout. <laughs> All right, so now let's go mayonnaise. All real mayonnaise. I'm really curious to see what this is going to do for this. I'm so serious. I'm so curious. What is this going to do? I am cooking with the smallest spoon that I have in my entire kitchen right now. I wonder why I'm getting hot. I should be cooking with egg. Yeah, I'm not going to hurt anything over here. Good stuff. All right. I don't know. I'm a tad bit weirded out right now by the mayonnaise. Thank God it's all real mayonnaise. I know exactly what's in it. That's three ingredients. Makes me feel better, but still, mayonnaise. All right. Let's go now. I'm going to have to cream last, of course. Let's go now with the lemon juice. I'm going to add this in at a time. I just, I'm looking for that lemon juice now to kind of suck up the rest of that um, that mayonnaise and kind of break that down. I just, I'm glad I did in that thing. It makes me feel better. <laughs> Notice that lemon juice came right after that mayonnaise. <laughs> All right, let's give this a taste. I'm just curious right now what I got going on. Mind you, I've never made this, guys. So let's let's see what we got going here. Real talk, that's not bad at all. It's completely different than what I would have. I don't even know. I didn't even know what to expect at this point. That's pretty cool. And I'm not, I'm not BSing you. I'm gonna do this. Deal scares me. Because it is so overpowering. It's, it's I've had it's like um me and um uh what is that? Uh what is that dish that um or can't think right now. Um, God, it's right here. Oh, God, I can't even think of it right now. But yes, it's another one of those dishes that, you know, when used, you know, you sparingly. And I did it with Young Chef and just, whoa. <laughs> so. You got to be careful. All right, now let's go cream. I think I'm kind of getting some rocking and rolling going here. It's feeling pretty good now, guys. I'm going to go lemon juice after that cream to make that cream last longer. Now it looks like the dish that came out to my table. That looks like what came out to my table. Minus the, let's turn that almost all the way completely down. Now I am going to add in my second dose of butter and then last bit of lemon juice. Then we add in the, the um, oh no, I'm gonna mess up that butter. Oh, that butter is so creamy. That looks like what came to my table. That's beautiful right there. All right, you see that simmer going on? It said nothing about a simmer, so we're not going to let it simmer. I'm going to finish off with the rest of this lemon juice. See, I left all the seeds in there. All right, all the seeds right there. All right, nice simmer. Butter for richness, that is nice and creamy. You got to think that those, um, that those, that pasta is going to come in there and it's going to suck up almost all of this. 
All right, now let's go with the trout. That looks awesome. <laughs> that looks identical. I mean, I am not. It's kind of cool when you don't go off of the uh, path too much. You get, you get, you get what you pay for, right? That looks like what came to my plate right now, and it came to my table. I gotta, of course, add some more of that deal for that 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 color. But holy smoke, am I on point right now? That's exciting, guys. All right, let's give it a taste. That is awesome. Probably because I haven't added any more salt and pepper. So, and we add lemon and butter again. So we probably have to go another round. But let's see. I was right. Wow. It got really light. That's what's cool about it, is that. That's why I didn't want to deviate, and I'm so glad I didn't change up anything. Because I really wanted to get that, capture that lightness that they had at the restaurant. And this is the uh, French restaurant in... I think it's called the French Bistro in Piedmont. So if you guys want to check that out, that's where I have this. French Bistro in Piedmont. And their hours are weird as can get. They open up when they want to. The dude is really, really French. And I believe that this is an Italian dish. To be honest with you, I think it's Italian. Pasta time. All right. And feed that in. The the um, temperature is all the way as low as it can go. Right now, completely low as it can go. I just have it on a little bit so I can get this integrated. And to be honest with you, I'm probably just going to go ahead and turn that off. Integrate this. I am talking, I look like the picture right now. This looks awesome. Ah, oh, I don't want to bruise the the, uh, the fish. That looks too good. Seriously, that looks too good. So I'm gonna give it a stir after this one, and then I'll garnish it again. Uh, that is awesome. Stay light, my friend. Stay light. See how I'm folding it in so I don't bruise the fish. Oh, stay light, my friend. All right, let's get, let's create an ice bath and then let's put it in a bowl. That is awesome. All right, so we want our ice bath. You guys know how to create an ice bath, right? Everybody knows how to make an ice bath. There. We don't need a big ice bath. Put our bread on top of that. Okay. Remove ya. Oh, baby. I got him. I got him down at the restaurant right now. That French guy is, if he ever watches this YouTube, he's going to be like, oh, bon vie. I don't know what I just said. I hope I didn't cuss. Oh, man. I think I got you. I think I got your number, buddy. Shouldn't have let me eat your good food there, friend. Now I got your number. Yeah. Put it away. Yo. 
I'm talking about what I'm talking about. I'll let you boy. My lines. Can you see that? I'm washing out. I'm washing out too much. It's too much light. Let's go like that, hopefully. Yeah, wash out. Nope. Ah, uh, there we go. Get that one. Get that like that. Get you guys. Make it. Eat it. And if you have to go, then take it.